Hi, it's Tara. Welcome to my Craftmas videos. I am going to be trying to do as many as I can squeeze in up until Christmas. And if you haven't heard me say it before, I like to use little trays. What I did was I placed all the items that I'm going to be using for a gift or a particular project. And I do that a lot. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you wanted to do something like this for future, just kind of have little trays stacked up. Uh, the Dollar Tree has little, little mini ones, and you can still throw a bunch of things on top of there just to keep all of the items for one project together. Today, we are going to be doing this cute little oven mitt. It's from the Dollar Tree, so a dollar twenty-five. Oops. And it's got this nice little hook on it and it's got this nice little pocket and as you can see I have purchased this um, sugar cookie mix that I'm gonna put in the pocket I got this from Target and then all these little I'm gonna probably just tie a couple of these little cookie cutouts on with a ribbon into the little corner here that's what my I, my thoughts are but the little saying that I'm going to iron on, on here. I got from Cricut Design Space and it says baking through the snow which I thought was super cute and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this on here and we are gonna throw it on my HTV Ron Auto Heat Press. I have it set at 320 for 15 seconds. I'm just kind of just kind of eyeballing it seeing where I feel it's gonna look the best. And I like that the the actual image itself isn't like perfectly straight, like the rolling pins on an angle. So if I don't have it just perfect, you're not even gonna notice. I think that looks great. I'm just gonna press that down a little bit. If we feel like it's not sticking enough, you're afraid it might shift around, which I'm starting to feel like that is what's going to happen here. I'm actually going to use some heat resistant tape and just kind of tape this down. Tape it down in that corner and tape it down in that corner so that it's not moving around once I stick it inside the press there. Okay, and I'm not sure about this material. I feel like maybe I should have done a little bit lower of a temp. Let's just do a few, like five seconds and see how this goes. I am a little slightly concerned about the seams, but we shall see. Actually, let me see if I can pull that out where the seams at the top there that are pretty bunchy aren't underneath the heat press. Okay. So we are just going to do five seconds. So I'm at 15. I'm going to pop this out when it gets to 10 and just kind of check on it. Okay. We did five seconds. Just going to check. Yeah, it hasn't completely adhered. The material of the actual oven mitt is fine. I just, I just don't want to melt it or anything. But then I'm thinking this is an oven mitt. It has a heat resistance to a certain amount of temperature. Although that's for the inside part. Not sure about the outside part. Okay. So overall I did 20 seconds instead of 15 at 320. And I can tell the G is not fully going, getting down there. So I'm going to stick a washcloth inside here and do another press just to lift this up because of having the seams. So I'm sticking an old rag in there to bump this up so that it's the highest part that's going to be touching the heat press plate is going to be raised up instead of the seams being the highest part that's raised up. And I'm just gonna stick this in here sideways also. Which 
I think that worked. Throwing that little washcloth on there, I can see the texture of the actual oven mitt. There's, you know, texture. There's little, little grooves in the fabric there, and you can actually start to see that through the lettering. So I think this is good. I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit, and then I'm gonna peel it back and take a peek. In the meanwhile, let's pick out some ribbon. I have a couple different Christmas ribbons. I've got one that's got white on it with little snowflake swirls, and then I've got a gold one. And because of the white lettering, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And both of these are from the Crafter Square section at the Dollar Tree. Inexpensive, but yet lovely gifts we have here. And I feel like I'm gonna be able to go pick up a few more of these oven mitts. I even might even hit up Walmart because I really wanna get the ones that have the little pouch in there. To be able to stick these sugar cookie mix, I just think that's so stinking cute. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a couple to go. I think I should do like red and green together. Before we put this together, let us check to see if this is tacked down. And it is. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna pull my rag out. I'm gonna turn off my machine since I'm not using that right now and, it, and it's kind of a little bit noisy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little sugar cookie mix and stick that in there. And then I'm gonna pick out two cookie cutters to go on the side here. So I feel like that can go with that, that can go with that. I like these two, the little snowman and the little present. I'm gonna stick these two together. I'm just gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna thread my cookie cutters through. We can adjust those as needed. Okay, so now so these aren't just flopping around, I'm gonna tie them close together. So that they're not flopping around. And then I'm going to tie this on the oven mitt itself. Tie a little bow. Trim that off. a little bit a little bow we've got our cute little cookie cutters our cute little saying baking through the snow popped in some sugar cookie mix how cute perfect how cute is that I hope you found some inspiration make sure you give this a like if you did and let's be like make this craftsmas season fun drop an emoji a little chef emoji or a little Christmas tree emoji below Thank you so much. Until next time, make sure you check out another one of my videos.